Hello everyone, this is Tim, and this is going to be a video really about a dream that I had. I have never really ran a cyberpunk game, but I had this dream of this sort of cybernetic gang initiation, some sort of rite of passage that they have to do to get into the gang. Uh, it's weird, sort of like, uh, I call it pole jacking, that's, that's what the, you know, the other gang members were calling it, you know. <laughs> The idea is that uh, you have this implant in your brain. There's like this wire coming out that wraps around this giant pogo stick like pole. And uh, it has a trigger like wrapped around the pole that you gotta push the little, little lever on. Uh, before you jump off this building, which is you know, how this works, you inject yourself like at the last second with this stuff. And after a few seconds of it being in your body, you lose all control of your physical, you know, can, you know, you can't move your limbs, you can't control anything. So you're just like, you know, your arms are sagging at the side and flopping around, but you're totally conscious. And <laughs> so you eject yourself, jump off, uh, and right before you lose, you know, able to, to use your finger or whatever, you hit the lever and, you know, a little zap goes up the wire and fries a part of your brain that, you know, I don't even know if this part exists in the brain, but in the dream, uh, the part of the brain that controls restraint, you know, so uh, <laughs> being able to hold yourself back from uh, dangerous, risky, uh, you know, any, any sort of behavior like that uh, gets fried. <laughs> so, and as a result of all this, so you're falling, right? And you're supposed to do this off of a building, uh, probably a pretty high one. And the only way you get into the gang is if you survive the fall. But, uh, <laughs> the fall itself is kind of like in Inception, where it's real slow. So, uh, you know, because of the drugs and the, your, your brain damage that you basically sustained, uh, this fall lasts for almost like an eternity. And it's a euphoric uh, sort of feeling. And in a dream, I remember being the person who was doing this. So, I, you know, I, I shot up, uh, jumped off, hit the, zzz, you know, felt burning in, in the center of my skull. And then it was like this, uh, it sort of blended from uh, like a fear of death because you're, you're jumping off a building. And that just sort of goes away. There's this like strong euphoria feeling. Uh, time is slowed. Uh, you have lots of deep, like metaphysical type thoughts. And, you know, you're high, so you know, it's part of the drug, I guess. And towards the end, you know, you're actually waiting for the, the land, like the landing at the end, because it's taking so long to get there that you're actually like, come on, hurry up now, you know, and it just take, it takes forever. So then I was thinking, like, how could you incorporate this in like a cyberpunk or science fiction type you know, RPG campaign? But I think the beginning of a session, perhaps, the characters are walking down a street and one of these guys like slams on top of a car like this giant pole and he's like strapped to it and <laughs> i posted this in the rpg brigade and someone said well if he loses all control of his body like you're literally gonna like need a change of shorts <laughs> and uh but yeah but like splatting on top of a car it's gonna be you know messy with blood and other you know all the other stuff that you let out at the bottom <laughs> so uh, but anyway, I was just thinking, like, you know, that would be a pretty evocative, uh, like, in media res way to start a campaign with this guy strapped to a pole, uh, you know, smelling awful, bleeding everywhere. You know, maybe he actually survives. And that can be the start of a campaign. Like, well, what kind of organization has this sort of intense, uh, you know, blood in sort of ritual for, for the gang? And then you start to think, Okay, so let's say that there is a gang, apparently there is, that has survived this. So every member of that gang did this and lived to tell about it. They, they gotta be a bunch of badasses, man. They just gotta be like tough. Uh, you know, they have no fear of death anymore, probably. Uh, you know, what is die, we may never fear again. Or how's that going, Game of Thrones? I can't think right now. What is dead may never die, you know, something like that. I'm sure they have lots of that stuff going on. Uh, and they're probably like the like literally like the one percenters like probably only one percent of the people that jump off buildings with pogo sticks and, and fry their brain and, and do drugs on the way down actually live to tell about it so so yeah that was my weird little dream maybe you can use it in a cyberpunk game or a sci-fi game <laughs> all right I'll talk to you later.